I have a report, Your Highness. The Aesir have launched an all-out assault. They are attacking our headquarters with all their soldiers. The Paladins fight valiantly, but tis only a matter of time till they are overrun. Odin. I see he risks his own life with this strategy of his. Here are your orders. Quickly! Call back the troops from the front line and attack them from behind. Use everything we have. Attack from both sides and annihilate them! Our king is bestowed with divine grace. Prepare yourself, queen of the ghosts. I, King Odin's daughter Gwendolyn, shall be the one to take your life. So, you call me a ghost? The Demon Lord's daughter is bold indeed. <laughs> it seems that my reinforcements have arrived. It's about time, sorcerer. Your Majesty, my sincerest apologies for my tardiness. Come, Belial, my faithful dragon. Let us put this to the test. Do you still dare to speak so impudently before my mighty dragon?
King Odin. Please rejoice. The enemies are retreating. It seems that it is finally over. Have Brigand's troops hunt down any remaining enemy forces. Go, inform all our soldiers of our victory. Sound the horn, and allow them to celebrate our glory. Now, leave me. King Odin. Yes, there it is. The crystallization cauldron. The fairies have kept it hidden for so long. Oh, do you see this mysterious light? Now it is finally mine. This power will grant me victory in any battle. What's happening? Oh no. What happened to the glow? The cauldron's light has gone out. Do you know where my father... where I may find the king? The king is with the crystallization cauldron. What? Who goes there? What are you doing here? These stupid battles all over again. Cauldron is a source of disaster. I will not allow the crystallization cauldron to be used any further. Not by you, nor by the Queen of the Fairies. Wait! 